complete addition and subtraction sentences with integers. Pretty self-explanatory. So we've got 44 and we've got negative 23. That's like subtracting 44 minus 23. Adding a negative is like subtracting. So that's one, that's two. So we've got 21. Okay, again, adding a negative is like subtracting. So it's kind of like 20 minus 28. When I say kind of, it's exactly. Now here's the thing, if that bothers you that the 28 is bigger, just flip it and do 28 minus 20. But at the end, you have to make sure to make your answer negative, right? So you flipped it, just keep track of the fact that you flipped it. So this is eight, but the answer isn't eight, it's negative eight. Same idea here, right? It's 20 minus 49. Let's flip. 49 minus 20, we get 29, but we're not allowed to just flip, we have to flip back, so we get negative 29. This one, we don't have to flip, right? It's just 28 minus 13. This is a five, that gives us a one, and we're happy, so just 15. Now this is saying what plus negative three equals 31. Well, you can probably guess that something minus three equals 31. So what's that something? 34 minus three equals 31. You could also, if you know a little bit of concepts from algebra, add three to both sides. To solve for question mark, but either way is fine. The answer is 34. Find the integer that makes the following addition sentence true. Okay. Let's do it the algebra way here, right? Let's add 29 to both sides. So when we add 29 to negative 5, that's like 29 minus 5, which we agree is 24. So its question mark is positive 24. Okay, how about this? Let us go ahead and add 27 so that these cancel out to both sides. Now, how do we add 27 to negative 1? We do 27 minus 1, and we get 26. So question mark equals 26. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, let's try it again. We'll get add negative 34 to both, add, sorry, add 34 to both sides. Okay, so now we'll have 34 minus 43, but we don't like that because the bigger number's on the bottom. So what we can do is 43 minus 34, and remember to flip it back. So that's going to be 13. So that's just going to be 9. But then, right, this answer is going to be negative 9. Okay, but let's be careful, right? What we found is that negative box equals negative 9. Well, if negative box equals negative 9, then box equals 9. Okay, so let's add 29 to both sides. Same idea. 
So we get 29 minus 48, but we don't like that. So we flip 48 minus 29. That gives us 19. But then remember, this is the flip, so it's negative 19. But again, we have negative question mark equals negative 19. So question mark equals positive 19. All right, and the same idea one more time, plus 23, plus 23. So we have 23 minus 27, but the 27 is bigger, so we like to flip it. We do 27 minus 23, which will be 4, which makes this the opposite, negative 4. But remember, we just found negative question mark equals negative 4. So question mark equals 4. You can also say, how much do you have to take away from negative 23 to get 20, negative 27? You have to move. If here's negative 23, you have to move 4 to the left to get negative 27. So it's got to be minus 4. I mean, the answer is not minus 4. The answer is 4 because there's the minus already here, right? So the answer is 4. All right, guys. Practice your negative numbers, and I'll see you soon.